welcome to our Wellness and Wonder webinar episode 8 on diaper rashes. Um, today I do not have Dr. Kelsey with me, however I am Priya Ladd. I am a birth doula, a nurse um, who is mainly working in pediatrics and I'm also a childbirth educator as well. So today we're going to be talking about a topic about that a lot of parents have questions about. And I know diaper rashes is a huge topic out there. What to put on your baby's bum? Um, what's a good preventative? What are things that are more natural to help he let your little one's bum heal a little bit better? So um, speaking as a new mom myself, as well as um, you know working in pediatrics for so many years, um, I have a few little tricks up my sleeve of um, little diaper rash remedies that you can use for your little one. So the first one um, that I wanted to talk about was first a preventative. So as a preventative um, for our son, we actually apply a vitamin um, E and A cream. It is from uh, Kroger, it's just $3, it's super cheap, and it's just a preventative, it's just to keep um, from any bacteria growing and just to keep the skin on his um, bum area more clean and also protected as well. Um, so it's just a little ointment that we apply on his bum every time we do a diaper change just as a preventative. However, um, when things happen and he has diarrhea or um, any um, sickness or whatever and he um, starts to get a diaper rash, so some things that we um, have tried are um, coconut oil. So you can take coconut oil and you can make your own diaper paste. Um, some people mix coconut oil with olive oil and a little bit of beeswax and lavender um, and lemon is antiseptic as well and just kind of make their own ointment out of it. Um, you can also just do coconut oil in um, diluted lavender and kind of mix it in and put that on the bum. It's also very soothing as well. Um, so making your own diaper rash cream is an option and a good base for it is either coconut oil or olive oil. You want like a vegetable based oil. Um, that will be um, nice and soothing for your little one. Another thing that you can use for breastfeeding mothers, you can use breast milk. So breast milk has so much power and um, you don't realize the power that it has until you actually realize how many things it can help with. Um, the main thing it can help with is actually um, helping with the skin. So even when moms have their nipples that are cracked, so applying a little breast milk on there can help heal that skin because there's properties in the breast milk that help um, build those um, skin cells back and make the skin healthy again as well. Um, so that's something that you can apply on your baby's bum as well. Just a little bit of breast milk on the bum uh, just to kind of see um, if that can help a little bit as well. Um, another thing you can actually try is apple cider vinegar. Um, so not too much. You just want to um, put it in your baby's bath just a little bit um, and just have that soak um, in the water. You'll have their bum soak in the water. Um, it has antifungal properties that kind of helps kill bacteria and viruses um, just to make it a little easier. Another thing is a soothing technique as well as Epsom salts if you're doing it in a bath. Um, Epsom salts are great. You just put a scoop of Epsom salts in your little one's bath and if they have a diaper rash just have them sit in that with the warm water and it's actually a great soothing agent as well. So um, another thing actually you can try is cornstarch. So cornstarch or brown flour are other options. You can kind of make a paste with it um, and just kind of apply it on your little one's bum. Um, there's again there's the um, kind of like a antifungal kind of like powder formula to it um, that actually is a natural agent for helping help healing your little one's skin so it's kind of neat how it works um, and it's just these are just simple things that you can even find in your kitchen so those are some things that you can try at home just to help your little one um, you know with their diaper rash and help them heal a little faster um, and also, another thing that you can do is if it gets really bad, then I would recommend, especially if you see blisters or a lot of peeling or um, very, very intense redness to the point where it's very difficult um, for your little one to pass any stool or even to be wiped, um, that's a good time to maybe see your pediatrician if these natural um, remedies are not working because they may need an antifungal cream to help kill that bacteria that's on their bum just to help them um, get a better a little 
cycle faster. So those are some home remedies that you can try and if those are some things that aren't helping fully then because your diaper rash has gotten to a certain point then definitely contact your doctor uh, to get a prescribed medication for that. Um, so that's our wellness and webinar, wellness and wonder webinar today. Um, it's just a short little um, bit on diaper rashes, and I just kind of want to share with you some little remedies that you guys can try at home. Um, I will post um, down in the comments um, what we talked about today, and also if you guys have any questions or comments, just feel free to contact myself, and I'd love to help um, any of you mamas out there just to help your little one feel a little bit more comfortable, especially if they are having a little diaper rash right now. Um, so till next time, we will see you next month and on our next um, Wellness and Wonder webinar. Till then, take care, have a great day.